Hey, hey, Mike, how are you doing? Good. Uh, hey, welcome good to, see to you, our second, our second, yeah, yeah, our second and video. special hello Look to that. all the new uh, users from Teleport Me from AppSumo and elsewhere. Hello, guys. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so this is a special video that I am creating for all the new users that are coming on Teleport Me and they want to know what's the best 360 camera to yeah. buy. You know, they're not, you know, they're. They are kind of photography enthusiasts, but they are not gonna sit and go through all the settings and sure. figure figure out what what they mm -hmm. need, you know. So I thought there there are probably like four people in the entire world that know more about 360 cameras, uh, and you're one of them. Mm -hmm. And so I said, let's get Mick onto the onto the video and ask uh -huh. him a quick uh, bunch of questions and get what his answers are. So yeah. uh, before I start, sure. Mick. Yeah, just give a short description about who you are, you know, how long you've been on, on 360 sure. cameras and how many cameras yeah, you Yeah, sure. Uh, so, my name is Mick. I run a website called 360rumors.com. I started photography in 2007 and that was just with regular cameras. And then in 2015, I started dabbling with 360 cameras. My first one was the Rico Theta and I was just overwhelmed with the, with the artistic possibilities and decided to devote myself to uh, learning it full time. So uh, now I have like maybe 70 360 cameras. 70? Yes. Oh yes. wow. I mean I'm including also... Okay. I, 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 was not ex yeah, I'm, I was not expecting 70. I was thinking maybe like 20. No, no. I, yeah, I, I'm include, in that number included is like uh, panoramic heads. Uh, so you know, for example, like me Mecca, I count that as a, uh, like this one. Ah, ah, this is one of my newest toys, it's a dual axis Mecca. So th this one I counted as a oh. 360 camera, even though it's not really. It is, it is a 360 yeah, yeah, camera. Yeah, not exactly, yeah. but it's... yeah. So, so yeah, um, and I, lo I love 360 and I've been doing it since then and I still haven't gotten tired of it. So yeah, I'm still. Right. So basically, you know, you know your stuff. Mm -hmm. So anybody listening to this video, he knows his stuff. Go 360rumors.com, best website for anything related to Thanks. 360. So, so Mick, I wanted to quickly run through a couple sure. of things. Uh, one is, uh, you know, 360 cameras. When someone wants mm -hmm. to buy, they generally go, "What's the budget? You know, what's the quality that I'm mm -hmm. going to get? And kind of what's the ease of use?" Right. So these are kind Absolutely. of the three main That's areas. Right. And so, so in your opinion, kind of, uh, if you just look at budget, mm -hmm. right? If you just look at simple mm -hmm. budget, uh, I'm gonna divide it between like, you know, less than $300, between 300 and 600, and maybe about $600. Like, can you, can you like just say, which are the best f cameras in those sections? Like just quickly, you know, so that like, people can just be like, all right, this is something. Okay, I'm so um, if you just, if you don't know for sure whether, you prioritize image quality or ease of use and you just you just want the you're just focused on budget budget is your top priority in other words well um yes. first of all let's start with the, the low-end budget if you're you have like an absolutely you want to spend the absolute minimum but you still want a, like a decent 360 camera okay so if you are an android there's this camera um it's called uh, the Mad Venture Mini camera. It's a. It attaches to your your phone, and that one takes kind of decent photos. And the thing is, right now it's the last time I checked, it was like something like seventy dollars. It's like really cheap. Oh and wow! The quality is, um, you know, it's pretty decent for like seventy bucks. I don't think you can beat that. You know. So you could you could basically if you're super cheap and you want like this dabble you could go get that that camera. Uh, you can know how to edit, put a nader on the phone thing, and and basically get a what. You yes, the, the the challenge the there is that it attaches to a phone. You know, it cannot operate by itself. So yes. if you want to put it on a tripod, you have to have a phone holder. So it's a little bit cumbersome to use for virtual tours. But you know, it's great for social okay. media if you're just gonna. Just like take party photos with a 360 cap. Right. This is like a, a good, good way to get started. Then, hmm? yeah. yeah. So, let's say you you have a little bit more to spend. You want something a little bit better. 
Then in that case, I would recommend the Xiaomi Mi Sphere. So that's this camera right here. Uh, this, this is this is the orange version. It's called. This yeah, is the OG. No, no, this is the, this no, is no, the no, OG. This is actually the second one. This is called the the Madventure okay. camera, but it's almost the same as the the Mi Sphere. There, the only difference is the color, really, and the name. <clears throat> hmm. But this one, you can buy this one on AliExpress. I was able to buy it for like around $120 and originally when it came out it was like $300 and I bought one for like I don't know 250 or something when it first came out and I was already happy that I got such a big discount you know and now you can get it for like 120 bucks really but but there's a big but there yeah, you, but the thing is you know to if you take just take the regular photos and just post it the dynamic range is underwhelming you you won't you'll the highlights will be blown, and it will have good detail. But yeah, the highlights, the shadow range, not that good. So the reason I do do recommend it though is because if you pair it with the right software, with the right HDR software, you can get amazing image quality from this. In fact, um, kind of like a spoiler alert, if you put the right if you use it for the right software or shoot with the right technique it can actually beat most 360 cameras up to around eight hundred dollars it's that good oh yes so that's some that's some nice spicy news for our yes. viewers here uh so basically if you know photo editing uh and maybe there's a course that could Ooh. teach you that uh and um you know, and then you get that phone. That, that that's pretty good. The only problem I think with that that specific camera yes. is that it's difficult to get. Yes. You know, just given uh, like I think there's yeah, it's because uh, I think the company has stopped producing it in in, in, in a capacity, and so they just have a lot of yeah. It, that, that's uh, yeah. That's around. why if you if you go on Amazon or eBay and try to buy it there, then it's kind of expensive. It's like I've seen it being resold for like. 500 or even 600 dollars which is really outrageous and then i found it on aliexpress i'll show you i'll send you the link it's not an affiliate link but you know it was like 120 bucks or something like that and i thought you know this must be a scam it's kind of sounds too good to be true but after a month okay. like i got it it even came with the the madventure like selfie stick so at least for me it, they they came okay. through so and this is during the corona. Yeah, this was just literally just One a few weeks ago. Bad. I got it like a few weeks ago. I, yeah. I ordered it back in the beginning, beginning of August. Yeah. Okay. And so in the second range, like from 300 to 600, what you what would you recommend? Like yeah, so, so like which phone? Which yeah, I, again, you if if your priority is budget, I would still recommend the Sphere. You cannot beat it. Up, uh, you spend 600 dollars, you still cannot beat it if you use the right oh, wow. technique that's the big technique. the big okay. like like uh, um, disclaimer there and again this is assuming mm. your top priority is budget like if you want your that's your big thing budget okay well me sphere this is the one for you yeah me sphere all right okay so what if my budget i mean budget is my top priority but it's not that i want the cheapest one you know like i am i'm willing to spend up to 600 dollars to get a good, uh, you know, 360 camera, what would you recommend? Okay, so if you're willing to spend up to $600, okay, you, you, you cannot beat the Mi Sphere for photo quality, but what happens is you have many other cameras available that can like really run over the Mi Sphere in terms of 360 video quality. So you have cameras like mm. the, uh, the GoPro, GoPro Max, GoPro Max is amazing, Max. Um, and like uh, Insta 360 One R, Insta 360 One X, if you can find it, those are all really good for 360 video. I mean, their photo quality will not exceed the Mi Sphere, but there's but Excellent. they're still okay. pretty good for photo quality. So, so if you you're willing to okay. spend more, that's what you're getting the 360 video, not so right. much the 360 photo. Okay. Yeah, and I should I should have okay. mentioned also there's another camera for like low budget that's also very good, which is the GoPro Fusion. It's an old camera, came out in 2017, great photo quality, but it's kind of like the Mi Sphere. 
uh, you do have to know how to edit your photos because um, you need to shoot it in raw and it has a kind of like a complicated workflow but if you're willing to learn it mm. then yeah it has very good image quality not bad from my opinion Nisphere is still better but you know okay. it, but, it, but it, GoPro it, it's GoPro good. Fusion yeah it's it, in fact the photo quality is better than the Max because it has raw Max doesn't have raw and uh, the GoPro mm. Fusion originally came out at $700 and I bought it for $700 I was happy to pay for $700 oh. now it's like 200 bucks it's like so so the key is to wait for three years before you buy a new yeah 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 if you want to think about it that way yeah <laughs> All right, and on and, and the top budget, like say I'm, I, I got a lot of money, uh, I, I can spend up to a thousand dollars. What what would you recommend? You know, it depends if your priority is photo or video. Um, I guess we could talk about that a little bit later. But let's say if you're not sure, yeah. you just have like a lot of money to spend. Then if you're leaning toward a uh, video, uh, then I would recommend probably like uh, it's a 361 R um, or One R. like, I mean, uh, there, there are cameras that are more expensive, but I don't think they beat the One R. Like the, 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 the Pilot uh, Pilot One, it's a thousand dollars, I think. And I compared them and <laughs> I found the One R quality to be better, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, like uh, for photo, you're, if you have unlimited budget, and, I mean not unlimited, but like very high budget, then play the Z1. Play the right. Z1 is is better than the Sphere, and is is very okay. good. Like the video quality, not that good, but for photo, it's excellent. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. Okay, so so uh, so just to recap. Very quickly, it starts from Misphere. So the, the highlights are Misphere, GoPro Fusion, uh, Insta 360 One R, and uh, Theta Z1. So these are like from a, a range of low to high, yeah. cheap and yeah, low to high. yeah. All right, that's cool. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I think one of the things also uh, a lot of our customers are kind of more catered towards is workflow and ease of use mm -hmm. and just. Having the ability to go snap an entire uh, you know place really quickly, upload it to hopefully teleportme.com yes. and create a virtual sure. tour, right? And uh, so in your in your mm -hmm. mind, you know, I mean, obviously you have gone through the workflow of at least at least the seventy cameras, right? At well, least. Well, well, some um, of them I actually so, like I haven't used in a very long time. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Right. So in, in your opinion, with the existing like you know with these cameras or these f five or six cameras that we have mm -hmm. talked about, uh, for somebody who does not want to go through too much effort in learning how to get the best mm -hmm. photo, how to like look at mm -hmm. the settings, like auto needs to be auto, mm -hmm. you know, like what would you recommend in terms of like you know? From, okay. Let's let's sure. divide that into three: like easy, sure. bad, easy, tough, and so let's start out with let's yeah. let's talk about ease of use. So again, my second question to you is like, let's say, what's your budget? So if, if, right. if your priority is ease of use and you have a very low budget, then again, I would recommend the Mad V Mini camera because when you shoot it, okay. it stitches the photo for you automatically and it goes straight to your camera. You don't have to run it through any stitching software or anything. It's just there. It's ready for you to share right away. You don't have to do any work at all. Now, um, if you want, you're, you're willing to spend a little bit more, and your your top priority is uh, easy to use, then I recommend uh, one of the Theta cameras, such as the Theta SC2. This is another camera where you can. That's the one oh, I have. Oh wow! Congrats. Because yes. it's a fuse. Yeah. Yeah, that's the easy. Yeah, that's, that's my it has uh, a amazing. lot of uh, very useful features for for virtual tours, such as. Um, being able to have manual exposure. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, congrats. And um, yeah. the important thing is that it can stitch photos in the camera automatically. And it's not like, you know, yeah. simple stitching. It's actually sophisticated stitching that is very smooth. It's, yeah. it's really excellent. And and for a long time, my primary camera was the Ricoh Theta, uh, like my, my first couple of years shooting 360. 
data yeah, family. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, I agree with you. I think the the reason I picked this uh, this camera was obviously mm -hmm. the budget was you know it was yes. three hundred bucks, and also it like you said it does the stitching on the device, so it's really yes. good that way. Uh, I don't have to stitch it on my phone. Sure. And it's already um, the, the the workflow for this yes. is pretty good. Yes, absolutely. But I think the thing, that the place where probably this is not that good is, you know, it doesn't have that high quality in terms of like resolution and mm -hmm. also maybe video quality. I mean, there is yep. very small Yeah, absolutely. Here, you know, yeah, so for the, the, both the quality itself, it's okay. It's not bad, but it's, it, yeah, it's not bad. The main strength is the stitching yeah. and um, the ease of use. Yeah. Uh, those are the key strengths. Is it is it readily available yes. everywhere? Is the well, Theta there readily? there are two versions of the Theta. There's the Theta SC2 and then there's the SC2 for business. The SC2 for business has a few different features. Like, but the strange thing is it's only available in China right now. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean yeah. you could buy it on eBay, but they're gonna you know charge the hell out of you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. so for, for in the US, it's Theta SC2. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And in terms of, okay, any any other workflow yes. like cameras there? What about the workflow for Insta360? Now, Insta360, One X, one X and One R, are, is there, it's also a very good workflow. It's pretty easy to use. Um, it's just that there are cameras that are easier. So for 360 photos, right, so right. again for 360 photos, if you if you are willing to spend more than the Theta SC2, you could get the GoPro Fusion. I'm sorry, GoPro Max. Now the GoPro Max stitches its 360 photos in the camera automatically. You don't have to do anything. So it's oh. it's kind of like the Theta SC2 in that regard. But the advantage over the Theta SC2 is that the GoPro Max has amazing video quality, one of the best for 360 videos. So that's what you're getting mm -hmm. for that extra, you know, three hundred three hundred dollars. And what's the price range for the right Max? Now, I think it's like five hundred or six hundred dollars. It was originally five ninety nine, but almost I don't double know the price, yeah. price is if there are any sales or something like that. Uh -huh. But uh, it's around six hundred dollars. Now uh, now uh mm -hmm. one R is a kind of like a close second in terms of ease of use. Because you do have to stitch your photos and videos in the app, but it's very intuitive. You know, if you want to learn a little bit about stitching and you want a camera that can grow with you, so to speak, the One R is a very good camera for that. And if you can find the One X, it's also a good camera. It's a little cheaper than the One R, and the photo and video quality is almost the same as the. Uh, as the the One X photo and video quality is almost the same as the One R. Now, uh, okay. And just just a note here, I think uh, anyone that wants to know more about the One R and the One X, I mean, Mick has X. great videos about it. Um, you know, so yeah, yeah. yeah please. I'll, I'll put links in the links right. in the yeah, bottom. You got it. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so, you're no, uh, yeah. So in terms of ease of use, and then if you. If, again, if your top priority is easy to use, and use your wind spend more, then again, I would recommend the Theta Z1 because it stitches in photos in the camera, just like the Theta SC2 and the GoPro Max and Mantle Mini. But the quality is significantly higher. You know, um, yeah, it's it's okay. really good. Yeah. We are now going to the quality okay. part. Now, this is where. You, you love this stuff. This is your thing. You are all about high quality. You're about high resolution. So so take take mm -hmm. us away with three cameras in the quality space. Right. From, you know, low quality, high quality. Oh, yes. And yes. just the highest quality money yes. can buy. Uh, yes. And, you know, for, for, for basically what mm -hmm. you offer. Sure. So let's start with, like, if your top priority is image quality, but you have a low budget or limited budget, in that case, my recommendation would be the Xiaomi Mi Sphere for the reasons we talked about. And um, as I mentioned earlier, this Xiaomi Mi Sphere uh, has such good detail that you can actually use it even if your budget is like middle, like 500 bucks, 600 bucks, and you're talking about photo quality, you cannot get better than the Xiaomi Mi Sphere. Okay. The Mi Sphere has better uh, quality than 
let's say the one R or Coco Max or Coco Fusion because of its detail. Now, in, above that, if you want to, if you're willing to spend more and and your priority is again image quality, not ease of use, then I would recommend this camera, the X Phase. This is uh, an odd looking camera, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's got like uh, I think 25 lenses or something. Oh my god. And yeah, and it has a total, it, when it, each lens is captures 8 megapixels. So that the capture resolution is 200 megapixels. Then it stitches it to uh, one, uh, 16384 by 8192 or um, uh, 134 megapixels or 134 or 135 megapixels. Wow. So it's, it's incredibly detailed. And it's so detailed that when I compared it against some of my DSLR setups, I found that the X phase is actually even more detailed. Now, of course, if you go high end DSLR like A7R4, or, you know, like diagonal fisheye, blah blah blah, then of course you have higher, uh, more resolution. But this this is a camera that's like it takes everything in one shot. So let's say you're at a party, for example. You know, you could put it there and it takes a photo and boom. And you know, that's very difficult to do with the DSLR. But this one is easy. In fact, I, I love taking this with me when we, whenever we go to theme parks. Whenever we used to go to <laughs> theme parks one upon a time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so if quality, yes. if you want the highest quality, how much is how much is that? How much is the X Face? Um it's like eight hundred and fifty bucks or so. Oh it's not that so it's, it's cheaper yeah. than a Z one? Yes, it is, but it is harder to use than the C1 because uh, the, the thing is, is number one, it doesn't stitch the photos in the camera. You have to stitch it either in the phone or in on the desktop. I mean, it's a miracle that it can even stitch on the phone. 134 megapixels, you could stitch it on the phone that's like never heard of before. So it, that's amazing. That's a feat in itself. Okay. And the stitching is... Um, yeah, well, I, I'll talk about that next because that's the other issue is that the stitching is like not perfect. So, for example, if you take a photo of a room, the, there will be straight lines that will look like they're waving. That's because the, the camera was trying to force the lenses to stitch with each other. And but it's it, very it's minimal. Algorithm. When you say it, I mean, what, what I want our users to... No, have... not necessarily. It's, Sometimes it's small, sometimes it's kind of like very noticeable. Oh, okay. So if you are, um, if you're well versed in Photoshop or Affinity Photo or one of those image editors, it is, uh, you can apply those same skills to fix these errors in post. Uh, but you know, you do have to know how to edit the photos. So. If you don't have time or willingness to do that, then uh, I wouldn't consider it X phase unless you were okay with those wavy lines. So here's an example: outdoor photos. If you're in the outdoors and there's like wavy line, no one would notice. Like yeah, that's people true. will just assume it's just a branch or a tree. It's like right, right, bending right. or something. Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't notice it. But if you're indoors and you're taking virtual tours. You can see, you know, it. Yeah, maybe, you, yeah, you can baby. see it. But so, yeah. sure, sure. So maybe your clients don't mind. Maybe they're okay with, like, they they love the high resolution and they don't care if it's like a little bit wavy here and there. So in that case, yeah, X Phase is a is, is the best detail among any three hundred and sixty camera out there. Okay. Period. Awesome. Bar none. Bar none. All right. Can, can you show the X Phase again to, yeah. to the audience? Sure. I think it's a really yeah. weird. And it doubles as a doubles as a weapon too. <laughs> <laughs> Self defense. <laughs> is it, is it quite sturdy? Is it like a very sturdy thing, or does it? Is it uh, it's mostly it's mostly metal. Okay, that's um, good. Although the this is the twenty twenty version, and the the bottom cap is plastic, unfortunately, but the body of the camera itself is metal. Okay, and it's self charging and all of that stuff, right? Uh, you, you you have you can charge it by USB. Okay, this not, one. Okay. Like the the older version, you needed to plug it to its own special adapter, but this one is just micro USB. Okay, that's cool. 
All right. Mm -hmm. What I would like to kind of ask you as like a definitive answer, right? It's like if you were gonna create, if you were somebody who can click a button, which is all you need for a 360 camera, right? And mm -hmm. you want to create like a small little hustle business on the side, creating virtual mm -hmm. tours. Uh, what would be, yes. you know, now let's say, you know, budget is stretchable. Let's say that it's not, mm -hmm. I don't want to spend too much. Like probably Z1 is at the very high range. Um, but what would you recommend? Like top three cameras uh, for a person who's getting into virtual tours, and mm -hmm. can make, you know, so you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't need to be too yeah, expensive. It. it doesn't need to be too cheap. It's something that they can get yeah. into the market, have quality virtual tours, uh, without having to have the headache of learning a new workflow, learning a new software, learning all that stuff, quick and easy. Sure. Yeah, so when you're just starting out with virtual tours, then you need a camera with a very good workflow because, you know, face it, like the, mar the virtual tour market, there's like low end, there's high end. Right, and um, at the, the the high end, if you want to cater to the high end, well, they, they they do pay more, but they will demand very high quality. Yeah. And if you're a beginner, you probably don't have the skills yet to provide that. So, uh, the option for beginners is like the the kind of like the high volume, low budget kind of um, part of the market. So if that's your market then the camera for you should be one that is easy to use. So I would recommend a camera that's kind of like this in the same list as we went through for ease of use. So at the minimum, uh, for if you're starting a business, then I would recommend something like the Theta SC2. I don't recommend the Mad V Mini because, no, you know, <laughs> it's on a phone and it's just not really work. You know, it's not made for virtual tours, let's put it that way. So Theta SC2, and again, if you're willing to spend a little bit more, um, then you can get something like, you know what, GoPro Max is not for virtual tours. And the reason is um, that the menus and everything, they're a little bit, you, you have to go too many levels deep to adjust it. So if for, for virtual tours, actually, in fact, it is faster to use the One X or One R. Okay. Uh, because the, the app connects very quick, quickly and you know if for the hassle of, of I would rather deal with the stitching software than with the you know tapping all tapping those things, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah it's like yeah, forget that you know right. um, the so and um, so yeah so I would recommend the 1R or 1X is for the middle tier of virtual tour and then for high-end virtual tour, if you're just beginning, but you 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 want a camera that can grow with you, then I recommend the Theta Z1. Okay. That that's a very easy to camera to use, and will also have a lot of potential. Like there are advanced techniques that you can learn that will improve the quality even further. Okay, awesome. So here you heard it from the the master himself, uh, mm -hmm. the man with the the knowledge. Um, the three top ones, Theta SC2, Insta, uh, Insta, Insta One, Insta One R, One R, One R or One X. One R or One yeah. X. Uh, you have to pick one. You can't say both. It's One R or One X. Which one would you recommend? Well, if you can find the One X. Okay. Then, okay. Here's the thing. If you can find the One X and you you have an iOS app. Then the one X, then the one X is better than the one R. Find the one X. You can't. Cannot find the one X, or you have Android. Go yeah. with the one R. Yeah. So basically, it's one R. The Theta S. So, so the top three, Theta SC two, the Insta 360 One R, and the Theta Z one, right? Then depending yes. on your budget, you can pick one. And I think these three actually fall in kind of, yeah. Now that I think about it, the Theta SC two is below three hundred dollars. Uh, the One mm -hmm. R is below six hundred, and the Z One is about six hundred. So they also kind of fall in. Oh, uh, Z One is about like a thousand. Oh, yeah, about six hundred. Yeah, you know, about six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you you said about six hundred. No, 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 about yeah. six hundred. So, okay. so I think yeah. you know, I think we, we have given our audience a great place to start from. You know, obviously mm -hmm. YouTube is filled with all of these videos and they can dig in and find more information. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. You can go to uh, 360rumors.com. Yes. They have an entire section where they compare cameras. And they use Teleport mm -hmm. Me uh, virtual tours there too. Absolutely. So, so, uh, yeah, so thanks to Teleport Me, we've been able to create uh, a comparison uh, page where you can compare two cameras side by side. And um, it, that way you can see for yourself which camera you prefer. Awesome, awesome. Thanks a lot, Mick. Thanks for all your time. And, uh -huh. uh, sure. And uh, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you finish it the way you finish it because last time I cut you off. So, <laughs> so you, you, you finish the video in, in your style. All right. All right. I'll see you in 360. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs>